An extraordinary woman by the name of Casella lived deep within the heart of South Africa, tucked away within the breathtaking landscapes of a vast national park. Casella was a dedicated park ranger with an unwavering commitment to conserving and protecting the park's incredible wildlife. Her childhood was spent adventuring through the wild beauty of the land, which instilled in her a profound respect for the natural order of things and gave her a strong connection to the land and the people who lived on it. The National Park served as a haven for a wide variety of animal species, which attracted tourists from all over the world who yearned to experience the splendor of Africa's famous wildlife, up close and personal. The park's dedication to providing visitors with an experience that is as immersive as possible was demonstrated by the open-air safari ride, which was one of its attractions. The natural world's sights, sounds, and rhythms would delight the tourists' senses as they traveled through the savanna on an adventure that would live long in their memories. Casella often found herself in the driver's seat of the safari vehicle, where she expertly navigated the expansive landscape with grace and expertise. Her eyes held the land's secrets, able to discern the faintest signs of life in the rustling grasses and distant silhouettes. One fateful day, Casella was entrusted with a group of eager tourists. Their eyes were brimming with anticipation as they climbed onto the open vehicle cameras ready to capture the elusive beauty of the animals that roamed the park. Unfortunately for Casella, she didn't have any idea that this day would end in tragedy. As the vehicle began to move, Casella expertly led her passengers through the landscape, enlightening them with her knowledge of the behaviors of the animals, the complex web of life that connected them, and the delicate balance that allowed the ecosystem to continue to thrive. Lions lazed around in the sun's warm rays. Zebras performed a mesmerizing dance across the open plains, and majestic elephants appeared to personify the continent of Africa. Everything changed instantly as Casella rounded a corner, the sudden jolt of the vehicle causing her passengers to gasp in surprise. A young giraffe that had just been born staggered forward, its gangly legs still unable to maintain its balance on the uneven ground. When Kakala's instincts took over, she slammed on the brakes with a desperation that belied her composure. When it finally came to a stop, the vehicle was only a few centimeters away from the fragile creature. When Casella realized the impending disaster had been averted, she felt overwhelming relief. However, this feeling of triumph did not last long for her because, as she continued to look ahead, she saw something that made her heart sink to its lowest point. The calf's mother, a towering giraffe with fur the color of twilight, had seen the dangerous situation just before it happened. Her eyes were ablaze with rage, and a raging inferno of maternal instincts erupted within her. The force of the giraffe's charge caused the ground to tremble before Casella Evan had a chance to react to it. The enraged mother galloped towards the vehicle, her hooves striking the ground with a foreboding rhythm as she approached it. As they clung to their seats in terror, the tourists forgot all about their cameras, shaking in their trembling hands. Despite her best efforts, Casella had trouble controlling the situation. Her thoughts were racing, but the giraffe's fury was uncontrollable, and before she could react, a mighty kick landed against the side of the vehicle, sending shockwaves through its metal frame. The tourists let out screams, lost in the din created by the collision of the metal against flesh. Katsela struggled to regain control of the vehicle amidst the chaos, her fingers fumbling for the ignition as she did so. But the giraffe's relentless attack continued and each subsequent blow was even more devastating than the one before it. And then, with a force that defied the laws of physics, the world spun in a dizzying whirlwind of pain. Katsela was ejected from the vehicle and struck the harsh terrain after impacting it. As the giraffe's relentless hooves struck her body with ruthless precision, Agony engulfed her senses and engulfed her in its grasp. The earth beneath her became stained with her blood as it seeped out of her wounds. She struggled to take a breath and escape the onslaught, but the giraffe's rage was unyielding and she was unwilling to give up. One solo tourist eventually overcame the fear that had paralyzed him as the minutes dragged on into what seemed like an eternity. They shook with fear as they described the unfolding tragedy that was taking place in front of their very eyes as they fumbled for their phones and then called the emergency response team for the park. Although help was on the way, 
It seemed like an eternity to Casella with every passing second. Finally, the response team arrived, heralded by the crack of rifle shots that shattered the tension-laden air. The giraffe jerked back in response to the sudden and unanticipated intrusion. It fled, taking with it a destroyed vehicle and a cacella that was bruised and bloodied. The group rushed to her side and used careful hands as they assessed her injuries as they attended to her. Katsella was carefully lifted and carried to safety despite being unconscious but alive. The hospital eventually became her haven, a place where skilled hands battled to put the shattered pieces of her body back together again. Casella's road to recovery was a demonstration of her tenacity and toughness. The scars from her wounds that covered her body told a story of overcoming difficulties and were evidence of her unyielding will. The story of Katsella spread like wildfire throughout the park, igniting a renewed sense of respect for the wild creatures that called the park home. When Katsella finally emerged from the shadows cast by her difficult situation, her determination shone more brightly than it ever had before. She drew strength from the land that had raised her and the animals that had become her family as she progressed further along the road to recovery. Because of that unfortunate encounter, her bond with the giraffes became stronger and more profound. She examined everything from their mannerisms to their nuances and their language. Over time, she expressed her regret, gratitude to those who had saved her life, and unwavering determination to watch out for the creatures who inhabited the park. Casilla's journey from victim to survivor, from park ranger to ambassador of understanding, became an inspiration to all who heard her story. She served as a reminder that our choices have consequences that can be felt throughout the complex web of life, and she represented the unstable balance between humans and the natural world. And as the sun continued to rise and set over the expansive landscapes of the National Park, Casella's spirit continued to remain woven into its very heart, serving as a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit and the wild soul of Africa. Miesha and Davian, two free-spirited teenagers from South Africa, were inseparable best friends brought together by their mutual interest in cycling. Grueling workouts consumed their lives as they prepared for an exciting international cycling marathon that was soon to take place. They decided to visit a national park in the area to break the routine. The park was a peaceful sanctuary that provided visitors with a revitalizing change of scenery and breathtaking views of the African savanna. As they set out on their journey, the golden warmth of the rising sun casts a warm glow over the landscape. The vast expanse of grasslands in the park, which were occasionally broken up by acacia trees, gave the impression of an endless canvas of beauty and tranquility. The rustling of the leaves, the birds' far-off calls, and the grasses' soft rustling were all carried on the wind like a symphonic performance by nature. The vastness of the savannah's beauty energized Misha and Davian as they pedaled through the landscape. As they took in the breathtaking scenery and fascinating local flora and fauna, they seemed to have forgotten all about the upcoming race. However, their attention was quickly drawn to a peculiar sight on the side of the road, an adorable giraffe calf, which appeared even smaller against the backdrop of the savanna because of its spindly legs. When Misha first laid eyes on the baby giraffe, her heart began to flutter. She couldn't resist the urge to capture this charming encounter urging Davion to capture the moment with his camera. Enchanted by the calf's innocent curiosity, they inadvertently let themselves become preoccupied. In doing so, they overlooked the potential hazards that might have been lurking nearby. A furious force ripped through the atmosphere, instantly shattering the calm that had been present. When Misha and Davion spun around, their eyes widened at the sight before them. Emerging from the tranquil backdrop of the savanna was a towering giraffe, its long legs carrying it with an air of deliberate purpose. The giraffe's eyes held a mixture of curiosity and wariness, its ears flicking back and forth as it assessed the unexpected intruders in its domain. The muscles in its powerful neck tensed, revealing a tension born not necessarily from rage, but from a protective instinct awakened by their proximity to its young calf. This maternal concern gave the giraffe's movements a certain intensity 
a reminder that in the natural world, even the gentlest creatures can be driven by an innate need to safeguard their kin. They had wandered too close to the territory of the calf's mother, a protective guardian whose maternal instincts had been awakened by their presence. They were struck by lightning when they realized the severity of their situation. They were propelled into action by the adrenaline that was surging through their veins. They pedaled with all their might, desperate to get as far away from the impending threat as possible. However, it was already too late. The furious giraffe raced up to them at an incredible rate of speed and, in one swift motion, kicked Misha's bike with solid force. Misha was catapulted through the air by the force of the impact and her body slammed into the unforgiving ground below. The giraffe's attack was so vicious that the victim's bicycle was left in a mangled and broken state as a testament to its severity. Before Miesha could even comprehend what was happening around her, the mother giraffe closed the distance between them. Her towering figure cast a long shadow over Miesha's body as she lay on the ground. Davian watched in horror as the brutality that was taking place in front of him rendered him speechless. Miesha's body quickly became a target for the powerful hooves of the giraffe, and each kick and trample caused her to bleed and scream in agony. The once peaceful savannah had deteriorated into a place of unspeakable horror in an instant. Davian's instinct for self-preservation kicked in just as he was beginning to spiral into panic and desperation. He struggled against his dread and flung himself onto his bike, his feet pedaling furiously toward the far-off safari jeep he saw. As he hurried toward help, time stretched before him and the pressing nature of the situation drove him forward at an alarming pace. Amid the chaos, the jeep became more visible on the horizon, serving as a glimmer of hope. Davian's yells brought the attention of two park rangers who immediately understood the gravity of the situation upon hearing them. They moved toward the scene briskly and effectively, keeping their attention fixed on Miesha and the angered giraffe as they approached. Davion guided the rangers toward the battle between survival and fury. After the jeep came to a screeching halt, one of the rangers wasted no time discharging a warning shot into the atmosphere. The sound reverberated throughout the savannah bringing a momentary halt to the unrelenting assault by the giraffe. To make the most of this window of opportunity, the rangers jumped out of the jeep and began yelling and waving their arms in an effort to intimidate the angry mother. The plan was successful and the giraffe hesitated before running away from her vicious attack, but it was too late. The damage was already done. Misha was knocked unconscious as her body, severely beaten and broken, lay on the ground. The urgency of the rangers' movements was driven by the realization that every second counted, and they quickly lifted her frail body and placed it in the back of the jeep. Davion climbed into the jeep as soon as the engine started roaring to life, his heart heavy with relief and concern for his friend. The park rangers navigated the treacherous landscape with honed expertise, and their laser-like concentration and dogged determination led them to the nearest hospital. When they entered the emergency room with Misha in tow, the medical staff greeted them with urgency. She miraculously survived the terrifying attack, but was left with extensive wounds that required several weeks of intensive medical care and rehabilitation. Her recovery was characterized by tenacity, resolve, and the steadfast support of her family, friends, and the cycling community that banded together to unite around her. The incident served as a powerful reminder of the fragile balance between humans and wild animals. Miesha and Davian's desire to innocently celebrate nature's beauty sparked their adventure. Still, it had spiraled out of control, and they found themselves in a life-threatening confrontation with the immense power of the natural world. The event strengthened their connection, and they gained a deeper appreciation for life and one another. Miesha's indomitable spirit inspired those close to her, which turned her recovery into a demonstration of bravery and resiliency. As her strength slowly returned, her mind shifted to the marathon, the challenge initially drawing her and Davian to the park. Miesha started the arduous journey towards regaining her strength, with determination written all over her every movement. Her passion for cycling served as a beacon of hope and a healing force during this time. Davian stood by her side every step of the way, their friendship tested by fire and emerging stronger than ever. 
The savanna, which had served as the setting for an unfortunate encounter in the past, now held a deeper significance. It served as a reminder of the fragile condition of life and the determination that can result from its challenges. Brock and Cullen, two wildlife photographers, went on an exciting journey in the wild savanna of Tanzania to take pictures of some of nature's most beautiful creatures. They had spent years documenting the beauty of the animal kingdom with their cameras and deep love of animals. They had no idea that meeting a mother giraffe and her baby would put their skills to the test in their very lives. Under the golden African sun, Brock and Cullen set out on their expedition, hoping to capture the tender moments shared between a mother giraffe and her newborn calf. Their journey took them deep into the wilderness, where the only sounds they could hear were the leaves rustling and the distant roars of predators. As the photographers set up their gear carefully, a mother giraffe and her baby came out of the bushes. Brock was immediately drawn to the calf because of its thin legs and wide eyes. With an eagerness to capture the perfect shot, Brock edged closer to the duo, his camera poised to immortalize the touching scene. He didn't know, though, that he was entering the territory of one of the most protective mothers in nature. Cullen was just a short distance away so he could see more of what was happening. He was getting more and more worried as he watched the mother giraffe change from cautious curiosity to tense alertness. With a sense of urgency, he cried out to Brock, his voice carrying a warning laced with panic. But time betrayed them. The mother giraffe had already locked onto her target. Brock just turned his head in time to see the huge creature coming at him, but it was already too late. One of the mother giraffe's strong hooves hit Brock in the back. He fell to the ground, his camera breaking as it hit the ground. The blow knocked him out of breath and made him gasp for air. His face hit the ground with a sickening thud, stars dancing before his eyes. As the mother giraffe hit Brock blow after blow, Brock felt both panic and pain. Her hooves pounded down relentlessly, each impact stealing away a piece of his consciousness. Brock's screams mixed with the wild sounds of nature to make a symphony of chaos that seemed to capture the cruel dance of survival. Cullen started throwing rocks at the angry giraffe in a desperate attempt to get it to move away. But it seemed like all he did was make the mother even more angry. Her attention went from Brock to Cullen, and her dark eyes showed anger. With a speed that belied her size, the giraffe was upon him. For Cullen, the second before the crash felt like an eternity. He locked eyes with the mother giraffe, a silent plea for mercy exchanged between human and beast. Then he was hit by a monstrous kick that hit his torso with such bone-crushing force. As the force of the impact threw him back, the world spun around him and the ground rushed up to meet him. Brock's mind went back and forth between a haze of pain and brief glimpses of the vast savanna. He tried to get his bearings, but every time he did, he felt more pain. While this was going on, Cullen was lying on the ground gasping for air as his body fought back against the violence it had been through. Brock's vision kept going in and out, and then a group of people in cocky clothes carrying rifles came into view. Because of the noise, trophy hunters stumbled upon the brutal fight. Ziela was one of them. She was a woman with a strong look and an air of authority. As she watched the horror unfold in front of her, she quickly realized how bad things were getting and made a quick decision. Zela put her rifle on her shoulder and took a steady shot at the heart of the mother giraffe. The shot was heard all over the savanna. A clear crack broke the tension and made the giraffe fall to the ground. Now that the threat was gone, the trophy hunters approached the scene carefully, putting their weapons down. After all the chaos, Brock's mind stood on the edge of nothingness. He could feel Gentil hands on him as the trophy hunters carefully looked at his wounds. He was still alive, which seemed impossible. Near B, Cullen's hard breathing told a similar story of how he managed to stay alive. Before getting them to the nearest hospital, the trophy hunters worked quickly to stabilize their wounds as best they could. Brock and Cullen fought their battles to get better in the pristine setting of the hospital. The physical wounds were extremely serious, which shows how strong the mother giraffe's anger was. But the emotional scars were deeper and served as a reminder that the natural world could change instantly from a place of stunning beauty to one of unforgiving danger. Brock and Cullen slowly put their broken bodies back together for several months. They were so thankful to Zela and the trophy hunters who had helped them. 
The terrifying experience had given them a strong bond and a shared understanding of how fragile and strong life is. As they went back to their cameras, each picture they took had a deeper meaning. The image of the mother giraffe, which showed her raw power and instinct to protect her young, was a powerful reminder of the delicate dance between people and nature. And while the scars on their bodies would always be a reminder of that fateful encounter, Brock and Cullen came out of it with a new respect for the wild, a deeper appreciation for the wild heart of Afrika, and an unquenchable desire to keep taking pictures of its beauty.